Hey y'all, Edward the Lego Texan here with another speed build for you. Today we're building set 40601 Lego Icons Magisto's Magical Workshop. Uh, this was a gift with purchase back in November of 2023. Um, the threshold was, I believe, around the $200 plus range to get this. And this is actually a remake of a classic set. Uh, featuring Magisto, the minifigure. And matter of fact, there he is there on the bottom, the blue robe, white beard, and that star wand. And we get one of the night minifigures as well. Uh, this is a really cool build. Man, I actually managed to pick this up after market. We were at a um, a Lego resale shop in Round Rock, Texas for a vacation a few weeks ago. And we saw this one on sale for $35. We figured that was a good deal since we missed it and the initial GWP uh, weekend when this was av available in November. Um, this is actually gonna be built by my daughter. She was the one who really, really wanted this set. And this is gonna be a really cool build. I'm looking forward to seeing her do this. Um, 365 pieces um, and like I said, too many figures. And from the look of it, really nice building techniques. And I'm looking forward to seeing this complete. So let's get to it.
Hey y'all, welcome back to my review of the Magisto's Magical Workshop. And I'm gonna start with the minifigures. So I'm gonna start with the secondary minifigure first. Uh, they This one came with a knight um, right here. I think this is actually a really cool uh, knight. I love the dragon print on the front torso. Uh, I think it's really cool that it is a female knight. You can tell that by the face print right there. And she does come with alternate hair. So you just slip that on if you wanted her to go helmetless, you know, for display. Or she comes with this full-on helmet piece, which I think is actually a really cool looking uh, piece here. Uh, I'm not sure which one of my daughters are going to choose. She ended up building this set. This is her set. This will not be on my display shelves behind me here. Um, Let's go ahead and move over to the Magisto. This is the one that got everyone got excited about since this set is a remake of a classic set. Uh, so this is the new 2023 version of Magisto. Um, I mean, solid blue minifigure, white beard, uh, kind of blue pointy Gandalf hat look in there, and the yellow wand. Um, the original Magisto set was before my time in Lego. So I don't know much about it other than just hearing that this is a remake of a classic set, you know. Um, as of the set of, as about the set itself here, you know, here it is. Um, here it is actually all closed up. Uh, this thing does open up. I'll show you that in a minute here. Um, talk about the outside details. These rock pieces actually really kind of help a lot. They were extra parts in the box. Um, it's really cool to see how these are used to help support the rest of the structure. It gives it a very rugged look, which is, I do appreciate that about uh, designs like this. Um, nice use of greenery all over the place. These big uh, tree leaves here, along here, there's oh, like a couple trees on the side here, some yellow flowers. Um, the roof is nicely put together. Um, I do like that a lot. Um, and like I said, this does open up. If you remove this one by two uh, piece right here it's with, with a lock printed piece on it, it actually does lock it in place. So if you just remove that, set that aside, it does open up to reveal some interior detail. I mean, this was a gift for purchase, so it's not gonna be super duper detailed inside, but what's in here is really cool. We have a ladder with a treasure chest here behind it. Uh, on this side, there is a, what looks like a work table, a couple of goblets and a sticker piece, um, like a scroll on the inside. Um, so like I said, this can be displayed either open or closed. Um, and this will be up to my daughter to how she decides how to display it. Um, go ahead and close this up right here. This would be good for if you're, if you were planning to display this only, it'd be good to have it closed like this to have a little less space on your shelf. Um, and honestly, I think that concludes my review of this set. This is a very worthy GWP. Uh, I can understand why it has such a high price threshold. I believe it was $250, uh, when you, uh, to get this particular set. Uh, we only spent 35 at a resale shop, um, to get it. So we kind of lucked out on that one. Um, that concludes my review. And I'm very happy to have this as part of my film, my video series. As always, if you like what you've seen, please give me a like and a subscribe on my channel. Also follow me on my other socials, Instagram and TikTok are both linked in the description. Uh, and that'll do it for today. Keep on building. Bye.